Welcome to Appointed Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about the Customer tab. Now, when a customer books an appointment, their data is stored on Appointee on the Customer tab. You can see the list of all the customers here. And when you bring your mouse pointer onto the list, you can also see the alphabets. So what you can do is you can click on any of the alphabet and it will then filter people with those names. Now the point here to keep in mind is uh, that the way that it is displayed, the last name would show up first and the first name would show up last. So when you choose an alphabet, so in this case what I've done is I've chosen the letter K, it shows me or filters the uh, customers whose last name starts with the letter K. Now you can always click on plus new customers and you can add new customers over here. So let me add one. And I'm going to put in an email address. Okay, uh, you can also put in a mobile number. Now, the point over here to take in is that the mobile number, house address, city, state, zip, city, uh, state, and uh, the time zone. So, so the mobile number address and these four fields, these are not mandatory. The time zone, the system would automatically pick up depending on what the account's time zone is. And the mandatory fields are the name and the email. Now you can add additional phone numbers if you want to. And you can also select this box which says send an email to the customer. So when you do that, what will happen is if, if I select that box and click on add, the customer gets an email inviting him to book an appointment online and that link would have, uh, th that email would have the appointees link in it. So that's how you would add new customers. Now at the top, you can search for customers as well. So you can put in the name. Now, uh, another thing to keep in mind over here is that you need to have a name which has minimum three letters in it. So if I just put in a L, it's going to, you know, p pull up every customer's name. And at some times it will not pull up the actual customer that you're looking for. So if I put in Albert, okay, so I just put in that customers details so I can see them. Now these two icons on the right and the left of the search bar you can use them to export the list of customers to an Excel sheet and you can also import the customers from an Excel sheet if you have one. Now below that you see where it says all customers there's this drop down if you click on that, we have different uh, customer circles. So it tells you the total number of customers, how many of them are inactive. And when you bring your mouse, mouse pointer to it, it will tell you the criteria that is set and the reason why they're inactive. So as of now, any customer who has not booked an appointment for the past 180 days is marked as inactive. I can then click on that number and I can change it and then I click on save. Right, so you see uh, the, the active were 11 then it went to 12. I can also make it. So uh, you can change the numbers of uh, days and then uh, the circles would change depending on how many active inactive customers you have. Now, once you click on any of the circle, you'll be brought back to the old page where you see the list. It will tell you how many, you know, one of five of five. So it tells you how many total customers you have. Now let's click on the name of uh, a customer. Now on the right side, or from the center to right, you see the customer's details. So you would see the information of the customer. If that customer has booked any appointments, you'll be able to see that as well. So let me just remove this search result. 
so this staff uh, sorry this customer has one appointment uh, it was booked on 21st of July I can click on the appointment and you would see the appointment details uh, you can add appointment notes uh, again you can cancel reschedule you can cancel all the appointments add more appointments for this customer so on and so forth uh, then if this customer has purchased any gift certificates those would be shown over here they would also be shown in the marketing tab under the gift certificate then you have payments if the customer while booking an appointment has made any payments through a pointy or using a pointy those would show up show up over here then if they have given any reviews uh, about your business on a pointy so what happens is when an appointment is booked uh, we can send an email asking them for a review you see over here it says request a review so if you send that email to the customer they can then post a review and those reviews then would be shown on the customer interface on a pointy so if this customer had given any reviews those would have been shown over here then we have the journey so it gives you a linear path of uh, when that customer was created and uh, how many appointments were booked which month had how many appointments so on and so forth and then last is the notes so if I go to appointments and I put in a note over here on this appointment okay I click outside so that note's been saved now that uh, note would now be shown in the notes tab so any notes that you put on on different appointments okay those notes would show up over here now if you go to the info tab you can add additional notes for this customer uh, one more thing that you can do over here is you can update the restrictions so in booking settings there are customer restrictions uh, which restrict all the customers throughout the business and if you want to overwrite those settings you can then open the customer tab go to that customer and click on update restriction so let's say for example uh, all the customers are allowed to book but this customer you don't want him to be able to book so you click on not allowed to book and then you click on update uh, what this would do is uh, when the person uses the same email address uh, to book an appointment they would not be able to book any appointment because you've restricted them uh, also the restriction is signified if you bring your mouse pointer on the name of the customer it shows like a stop sign also it shows up as a red dot okay then uh, if the customer booked the appointment by going on to the customer interface they would show up as self-registered if uh, you created that staff member it's going to show up as uh, created by admin also if uh, the customers come through Facebook you would get that logo so you can tell which customer came through which channel and uh, you know use that now uh, on the top of the name of the customer there are three buttons over here the first one's to verify the customer the second one is to send an invite and the third one is to edit so let's click on edit now you can change all the aspects of a customer's data apart from their email address so according to some compliances that we have to meet the customer is the only one who can uh, edit the email now there is a workaround for this uh, I would create uh, separate videos for workarounds uh, but this one's a short one so I'll still explain this so let's say for example this email address uh, I put in a one so let's say I put that by mistake I want to change that so what I would do is I would create a new customer with the same name okay and this time around I'm gonna put in the correct email address and I'm gonna add that customer so now you have two customers with uh, the same name and email uh, sorry about that uh, so you have 
two customers with different emails but the same name. Uh, what I did was I went in, I created another customer and I put in a two instead of a one. So let's say this customer has the correct email and this one does not. So I select both of them by clicking on the circles that come to the uh, are, are situated on the left side of the name and then I click on merge. So what the system would say is that you are merging your uh, first customer with the second one. Uh, it will ask you to select the email okay, that you want, the name, address, uh, so the correct one that you want to put in and then I click on save. It will ask me to confirm. Now once I've confirmed you would see that the name of the same person. So both those entries uh, for Albert are now combined to one with the correct email address. Okay, so that's how you can do that. And the second tab is invite. So what this basically does is it sends an email to the customer inviting them to book. Uh, also in settings we have login options where the customers can create a password when they log in using their email addresses creating an account on appointee. So if somehow they uh, forget the password they can reset from their side as well by clicking on the forget password button but if they contact you as the business owner asking you to send them a, a reset password link you click on invite and send that to them so the invitation email would have a link so that they can go and book an appointment and also have a link so that they can reset their password okay now the last one is to verify the customer so you can verify the customer saying that it's a genuine customer or you can unverify it so that's pretty much it yeah okay I forgot you could delete the customer as well now time and time again I would repeat this whenever you're deleting something on a pointy it will remove all other let's say components uh, related to that feature uh, that you know uh, thing that you're deleting now in this case let's say we're deleting this customer so any and all appointments that we have for this customer would get deleted along with this customer the same goes for services and staff so those are the three main things that you can delete and any past present or future appointments related or connected to those service staff or customer would also get deleted so make sure when you're deleting uh, you know just contact us before deleting because once you delete it it's gonna be lost so that's pretty much it about the uh, customers tab see you in the next video